Indian judge says CC and cow slaughter will end all woes because cow is mother. And we have it from my favorite state that I can't pronounce in India. I'm ready for the live chat to roast me. Um, recently, a court <laughs> in the Tapi district of the Indian state of Jurat said that peace would prevail in this world the day that cow slaughter ends. The court noted that killing cows is unlawful and recited Sanskrit verses roughly translated to where cows remain healthy, all wealth and property is gained. When cows remain unhealthy, wealth and property remains unhappy and disappears. Cow is the mother of Rudra, daughter of Vasu, sister of Adi, uh, Aditi Putras, and the treasure of Drutrup Amrit. The court also claims that it is scientific. The court also claimed that it is scientifically proven that houses built from cow dung are immune from atomic radiation, Wait. and cow urine is used as a cure for many incurable diseases. These statements. The court were... also claimed that this is science. That cow that house is made out of cow poop is radioactive resistant. Uh, so, yeah, atomic radiation. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. These statements were made while dealing with the case of Muhammad Amin Arif Anjun, who was detained three years ago in July of 2020 for unlawful transportation of 16 cows along with their calves. The prosecution proved that Anjun did not possess any certi certificate of a competent authority of written permission for the transportation of cattle. He was sentenced to life imprisonment as well as a fine of 500,000 rupees. Are you sure your source has, is not the onion? Is this real? This is from Live Law, which is like one of the sites that just their whole system of reporting is court cases. What the hell? This is so embarrassing. Guys, this is the most, the largest secular democracy on the planet. And this is what we're getting from the court. We're not getting, I know every country has its fair share of wackos, but this is the court. And yeah, so Prometheus from court, India is confirming that this is real. This, this is, this is so wild. I'll read you some more. Um, the Sessions Judge S.V. Vyas presided over the district court of Tapi, added that religion is born out of a cow as religion is in the form of Versaba and the son of a cow is called Versaba. The court also quoted Sanskrit verses saying that if cows become extinct, the universe will also cease to exist and that the origin of the Vedas and all of its, with all of its six organs is because of cows. Stressing that the killing of cows is impermissible, the court referred to two other verses which can be loosely translated to, oh, I'll read the other one that I didn't say earlier. So it's, oh my God. Significantly calling the incidents of cow murder and illegal transportation a disgrace to civilized society, the court remarked thus, the cow is not only an animal, but it is the mother. That is why it is given the name of the mother. None is so grateful as the cow. A cow is the living planet of 68 Kore holy places. So Kore, Kore is it 10 million? So 68 core holy places and 33 core holy gods. The obligation of a cow on the entire universe defies description. The day when no drop of blood, of cow blood drops on the earth, all problems of the earth will be solved and all the well-being of the earth will be established. There's much talk of cow protection and cow rearing in this country, but it is not put into practice. The universe will cease to exist if what happens to the cow? If cows become extinct. How, how does that work? Is that also based on science? The entirety of the universe, like galaxies far, far away, black holes will I, stop existing. I can't explain. I can't explain. Mm -hmm. I can't explain. I think this maybe it has to do with the tens of millions of gods living inside of the cow, maybe that's why it will become extinct. Are the, are the gods inside the poop as well? Oh, my God. But hold on. Uh, actually, he, he think, huh, he, actually maybe, I'm not even... 
I'm not even making fun of that. I'm actually, this is that's a serious question based on how ridiculous all of this is. That might be. I mean, there's um, like medicines made out of it. So maybe that's a thing. Um, why is the court? I mean, I, ca I can't even make fun of this. This, this. this is making fun of itself. Like, I don't feel like I need to make fun of this. We just need to read. There's no commentary needed. We just need to read the news. Um, why are you bringing Sanskrit verses forward in the court yeah. to talk about this how is that legal that seems wholly inappropriate and this you're talking about holy it's not just sanskrit but for two people to understand this is holy scripture the court is using religious scripture as a way to come up with these conclusions and this is a secular country apparently okay go on and then th this man was given life imprisonment for moving cows across state lines across straight <laughs> my understanding is that he didn't even like none of them were killed he was just moving them illegally across state lines where is that and they sentenced him to what life imprisonment the dude is only like 18 or 20 years old um why is the court oh, so the court is commenting about cows regarding the sentence that's why they're commenting on cows because somebody was just moving them around yeah, so I believe I'm assuming that the, the the pretext for talking about the importance of the cows and the cow protection and coming with holy scripture to cite that is that's the basis why they came forward with that line of thinking. So why, why can, can you not just say that I was just taking them on a tour? Like why can't cows? <laughs> like why can't I? <laughs> I was just showing them the countryside. <laughs> like why is that illegal we're tourists <laughs> like i was providing Me a and service these cows are tourists to my moms these are my mommies and i was just showing them around we were just going on a oh trip oh my god like life sentence is this gonna not be, life like, do sentence you think, do you think that's gonna like actually happen or is gonna be like is that how it, india is right now like i don't is know that gonna... i don't know i i with where he is in the court system, I don't know what appeals are available to him. If he does appeal, I'm not sure if it will go up to a body that would be more sympathetic to the situation. I'm not knowledgeable enough about the intricacies of the Indian legal system to be able to give you a better answer about that. But either way, either way, with the court system being so overburdened as it is, it's going to take years before it gets to that place anyways. They're saying they said the cows didn't have food or water on the truck. Well, how do you know? Don't you feed them and water them before you could put them on the truck and then well, get who knows how long he was driving? Yeah, but do they not know? Like how how but can you say like wait, I just I just fed them before they get on the truck? Like I do I need I don't think they constantly feed them all the time while you're transporting them. Well, no, but this is also compounded by the fact that this is a man coming from a Muslim background. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I think like they're using that as an excuse because the guy wasn't might have not been doing anything wrong. And like, oh, there's no food food in the truck. Like, yeah, usually you don't have constant feeding while you're moving the cows. You feed them before you get on the truck and maybe stop and feed them. But you don't like. I haven't seen even in European countries or even in Canada. I haven't seen like when they move animals to constantly have food ready for them oh, but no, i've the seen time. horse trailers that have stuff yeah but i have seen that some ones that don't like that doesn't mean they're hungry no. that doesn't mean they're all like i mean maybe they are but i i just think like you're right i think it might have more to do with the fact that the guy has a muslim background yeah you know? well no that's a huge part of this this is a, that's i mean that's without question a huge part of this um so this is, I, it was funny. So you highlighted some comments during our previous segment that I didn't want to highlight during that segment because I knew that this one was coming next and that they would be relevant because mm -hmm. Numan is saying, Susie is so knowledgeable. D, she has more knowledge on India than me. And then Prometheus and Newman, is saying, Wait, wait, no, go back, go back, go back. Because the reason why Newman is saying that is because Newman is from India. And yeah, so guys, <laughs> uh, um Susanna has more knowledge about Iran issues than many Iranians and she seems to have also more knowledge about India issues than some you know many Indians but yeah go on <laughs> and then Prometheus replies to Numan <laughs> is saying <laughs> she can't pronounce Gujarat <laughs> well you did it right this time did I do it right yeah 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 
I don't know. People in the live chat tell me, did I get it right? Yes, you did. I cannot tell no, you. No, pronounce. Yeah, yeah. Prepared. She. You you're good at knowledge, but both Persian and Indian, you're not very good at pronunciations. But knowledge, you're you're good. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> not fair. My Farsi Persian. pronunciation Persian. has gotten a lot better. Yes. Yes. True. It true. has gotten a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Prometheus was saying that that was fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, but here here's a uh, new man is just saying I'm losing hope for India. Oh. Mm. Qasim saying, "Hey, don't question cow science," which is good comedic relief. But also this on a more sad uh, on a Saturday note, Newman is saying, "I'm getting angry. It's not funny. They are mocking the whole court court system." Yep. Um. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't want, I usually want to give people hope about India and I will just point about the economy. And, but today it doesn't seem like a good time. This is bad. This is really bad. Um, how, how significant is this court? Maybe here's, here's how we could give people hope, right? Is this just like a small court somewhere that has been going Lulu's, um, you know, or is this a significant court that represents, um, is a better representation of the justice system um, in India. So it was a district court. That would be a lower level than, say, the high court of the state or the high court of a larger city. All right. So let's let's just let's be a little bit optimistic, okay, guys? This this is one court, okay? It's not a high court. Uh, it's bad. We're not gonna whitewash it, but maybe it's not a representative of them. Maybe other courts will be like thinking like this is insane as well okay how about that is this a good positive spin see we're not here to constantly just look at anything india related and try to like constantly attack india you know we're gonna try to see if there's a positive spin to this you know maybe it's not that bad maybe this is an isolated incident okay is that good you guys the, you guys like me being positive sometimes yeah yeah i am actually impressed with your effort to be positive okay because usually you make a bad news a good news a bad news <laughs> no no i always want to look okay. at the other side if there's a good news i want to look at the other side maybe it's not as good as we think and when there's bad news i also want to look at the other side and maybe it's not as bad as we think like i'm just like yeah. looking at it yeah looking at other perspectives so yeah 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 do you think let's hope so get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description